Assalamu alaikum everybody, welcome back. So you guys seem to really enjoy our last video where we talked about our decision to leave Canada and the top five reasons why. And that and tells the story that we're not the only ones because yeah. there is a lot of you, as we suspected, <laughs> that are thinking of packing up and leaving to somewhere. Yeah. But so, where is where? So where is somewhere? So let's talk about our top five contenders. Um, the pros and cons as to why we would pick these countries or why we wouldn't pick these countries and just kind of run through why they made it to our list. All right, let's get the first one out of the way straight away. The United States of America. Yeah, so pros, obviously, it's just across the border from us. Um, Short move. We've definitely thought about doing maybe Texas or one of those southern states. Mm. We should preface this by saying that Every one of the places that we're talking about, we have been to yes. and traveled around, so we're familiar with a little bit. Definitely. So we spent almost a month in Texas a few years ago, really enjoyed it. The weather was beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely a Muslim population there. Large, um, large, large Muslim population there, yeah. especially in Houston. Yeah. Shout out to Houston. Freedom of speech. Um, kind of? Kind yeah. of. Depends on your like, definition of I feel like y'all are kind of slipping on that whole First Amendment thing. Yeah. It's, it's got the same here. issues as Canada. So. Number one issue of old genocide Joe. Yeah. Mr. So. 40 Babies. I saw them, but they didn't exist. Yeah. Where, so where, where the cons where, where, are definitely America is the biggest. <sighs> That's a Joe Biden move. He likes to sniff young girls. Anyways. Look it up. Okay. It's a thing. So definitely the biggest con is the fact that America is the biggest funder and supporter of the genocide in Palestine. Mm -hmm. And so that is a huge no-no. Yeah, that is the, let's it's again, the happening. number one reason why we're leaving Canada. We certainly wouldn't accept that yeah. from a country that's actually literally supplying yeah. all of the weapons to yeah. kill all of these children. So your entire income, like your taxes are going to fund it. So why on earth would we want to participate in something like yeah, that? Yeah, I, so. I don't agree. And shout out to all the Americans that would agree with me on this one, that I don't agree that Israel should have free health care and free education and free housing mm -hmm. when y'all don't have that in America. Yeah, definitely. It's not fair. All so, right, number two. Number two. Two. So again, these are in, in no particular order. I want you guys to know that this is not in any particular order. It's, it's just how we just wrote it down. So number two, Turkey. We, we thought about mm -hmm. Turkey. We traveled there a few years ago. All right, pros. Pros. It's, it has a lot of beautiful history. Yeah. The history is amazing. Yeah, it's very centrally located, so we can to travel world, anywhere. Europe, Asia, literally... The hub city of, of Istanbul two. splits the two continents. Yeah. So yeah, you're, you're, Halal you're food. either way. Halal food is everywhere. Yep. Mosques are everywhere. Yep. Um, cons, though. Cons cigarettes lots of cigarette smoke yeah it, it, everywhere, like everywhere we went like cigarettes, cigarettes everywhere cigarettes. we went and like i was choking yeah. <laughs> it was really really hard oh another thing is that english is not really widely spoken mm -hmm. um that even, was definitely even issue. when we were in istanbul like it was like the tourist hub we mm -hmm. still found that there was still a language barrier there and homeschooling is illegal homeschooling is illegal we homeschool our kids so that's definitely not gonna work definitely not gonna work yeah. sorry turkey <laughs> You failed. So <laughs> beautiful place to visit, though. There's, it's incredible. Yeah, 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 definitely. And the, the people, people are the people wonderful. Were great. Next up, let's go United Arab Emirates. Yeah. We're probably gonna just lean towards Dubai on this one because we, it's the only you know, emirate, emirate that we've we actually in. traveled to and yeah. stayed in. Yeah, it was great. Um, it's more so like the same as Canada in terms of like infrastructure. It's it's beyond. It's it's, it's better it's, than Canada. Yeah, actually, yeah. it is. Yeah, it's, it's very pretty first cool. world. Yeah. It's, um, what else? They it's have everything. It's always warm. There's a big homeschool community homeschool community yeah which is good the weather the weather is the best perk the weather 100%. is the best um however that can be also a con that is a con we did go during the summer though it was about 43 degrees and i will say like i didn't mind it that much but yeah. i mean the kids definitely found yeah. it a little bit too much um and a lot of people from there do snowbird winter mm -hmm. bird summer bird i don't even know what you would call Depends it where leaving, you go. leaving the heat a lot of people leave the heat and go, oh, and go opposite than yeah snowbird. go elsewhere summer bird yeah so yeah. that's that's a con also and it is kind of expensive yeah i was gonna say that would yeah. be the next con is that it's expensive so it's very comparable to living in the gta where yeah. we're from so mm -hmm. we would essentially just be swapping to get all of the perks, all yeah. the pluses of that place and leave them all behind here. Yeah. But in terms of saving money or cost of living, it's the same. And the other part of that is the artificialness of Dubai. Yeah, we it's are very big sandy. On, yeah, we're big on nature. We and, love greenery, yeah. we love hiking, we love lakes, we love exploring. And I just nature. feel like we wouldn't be able to do, yeah, we like nature. Also, no freedom of speech. Well, yeah, no, not no freedom to criticize the government. Yeah, which I I don't really agree with. Which I we mean, do often. <laughs> it, yeah, exactly. So. But it seems to work for them. So again, yeah. that's not really to criticize people who live there or the government themselves. We're not. Yeah. We're not. We're not criticizing. We didn't say anything. Yeah. We didn't. Shh. 
but definitely I can see myself like living there. Like we, we spent almost a month there. Like we really enjoyed it. It was really good. Good, me good memories. There's lots, lots to, to do, do, but yeah. there's a lot to do, but everything costs money. Everything costs money. You can't just like go out in nature and just like go for You go into the stroll. sand dunes, but you might get lost and die. There's that. All right. Next up. Next up, Pakistan. Deal. So, deal. Pakistan. My roots, obviously I'm Pakistani, so that had to like make the list yep. if you know I, what I, tra mean. I traveled over uh, 80 days in Pakistan so yeah. I've he spent traveled. a lot more time there than I have I don't know I so. wouldn't say extensively I would let, but I would let you do the pros like what are the let pros? me the pros are the people I love the people of Pakistan the people I mean obviously I married one of them kind of but, um, <laughs> no the people my experience they're so friendly they're so kind mm -hmm. I did get Hospitable. robbed <laughs> I did get robbed yeah you did get <laughs> so robbed. that would fall into the cons is that definitely Pakistan is a little bit dangerous it yeah, can be in certain parts it's not parts. safe um, but the pros, like the food, our family obviously loves Pakistani yeah. cuisine. Yeah, got so lots of family there they, as well. Yeah, they have family there. Um, pros, weather. Easy immigration, I would yeah, say Yeah, easy too. immigration. I can get my green card. Yeah, so also I would say like a con would be like it's not developed. Like it's not... Yeah. W w um, it, it would be a culture shock, I think, for us to go for there. For our kids, for sure. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah. for us The living well. is like not the same. For me, it wouldn't because... I'm from the Pind. So. Yeah, yeah, basically. Uh, another another pro is it, it does have natural beauty. The farther you go north, it's absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. Mm -hmm. So there is that. Corruption is the one thing, not one, but is the corruption yeah. and crime are the two things that yeah. will keep us away corruption, from Corruption, crime, also, like, it's not as sanitary and squeaky clean as what we're used to. So every time I've ever been to Pakistan, I've always fallen ill, like yeah. deathly ill. So I never got sick our over bodies, 80 days. Our bodies would just... Because I almost died in Bangladesh right before I got to Pakistan. Oh my God, <laughs> that, that, that's tough. Also, another pro I should mention for the UAE is the safety. Like the safety is paramount. We're on Pakistan. I know, but we skipped that part. True, anyways. true. That, yeah, I mean, we left our bags and our passports and our wallets Literally, so many times. Just like left it and out in the open. Back, it's always there and waiting. It's always there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next up, we have Malaysia. Malaysia. Malaysia so we, we, we honeymooned there. Yeah. Malaysia won our hearts a month. 10 years ago. Um, I have an incredibly amazing friend and his uh, family that are there, yeah. whom I spent time with in Bangladesh. Um, the people so, are so sweet. Yeah. I mean, pros, everything. It's beautiful. Like, it basically checks all the boxes. Yeah. Like, it is definitely on the more developed side. Depending um, where you go, right? If like in Kuala Lumpur, you have so you have development of the major city. Mm -hmm. You have the beauty of nature, which is huge for us. You have yeah. beaches, you have mountains, you have rainforests, yeah, you have you highlands, have you have mangroves, you have literally everything. Everything, yeah. Centrally located in eight, not centrally, but located in Asia. So, like you can Thailand, travel easily. Cambodia, Laos, yeah, you can Vietnam, travel easily. Philippines, everything are all yeah. right there. Food is amazing. Mosques everywhere. Huge Muslim population. Mm -hmm. You um, see Islam everywhere. Yeah. You feel it and you see it. Malaysia. Definitely has like much, the Muslim influence. Yeah, yeah, and also that they're very keen on Malaysia being Malay. Yeah, for right? sure, for so sure. So that's one of the cons. So is the that cons, they don't like to have a lot of immigration. Yeah, so they immigration is hard. Immigration is hard. Getting visas is hard. Um, buying housing there as a foreigner is hard. So that's the cons mm -hmm. for for Malaysia. Is it would be like really difficult to go there and figure that piece out. Yeah. So. so unless you have a substantial amount of money that you can dump into a bank for the MM2H yeah. program. So you got to tie up a lot of yeah. ends in order to, to go there unless you're just doing like a visitor visa, which then basically you're vacationing yeah. essentially. You know? Yeah, exactly. So there's a lot of pros and cons on every single country that we mentioned. Mm -hmm. We're not going to tell you what our top two are because we are traveling to those two places in the next few weeks. Um, and we want to take you along for that journey and kind of show you the process of like how we we'll pick actually, between yeah, the two. We'll show you the pros and the cons. Yeah, yeah, we'll sh we'll be able to show you. Yeah. So um, I want you guys to guess like mm -hmm. what are our top two out of, out those of the five. yeah out of those ones. I, I think it's probably going to be pretty, pretty obvious. I though. think pretty obvious because we've talked about it a lot in the past. And if there, you haven't seen there, our content, and then and you then, won't know. In case you guys want you want like a little bit of a hint, you can just go into our last uh, you know long form video and just look at. A lot of the comments are people like, move dot, here. dot, dot, yeah. know, wherever <laughs> here is, move here, move here. So um, yeah, I, sure. apparently people know who we are there and they, and they want yeah. us to move there. So yeah. that's definitely a... Yeah. And tell, it, like, and tell us, like we've actually received so many emails, so many comments since our last video mm -hmm. um, from people giving us suggestions on places I've never would even thought of, like... Morocco? Like Zambia. 
Zambia. and South Africa South and Africa. yeah, like all these different places. So like, tell us where you have considered moving. What are the pros and cons? Um, we'd love to hear it. Again, mm-hmm. we are going to explore. We're open ended. It's not like a definite answer as to where we're going to end up. So and if you're outside of the top five, do leave us some reasons down below why should we should check out where you live. Yeah. Um, why should we come and visit you guys to check out and see maybe if it's a possibility to move there. Yeah. Um, again. We're kind of up in the air a little bit, Mm -hmm. but who knows? So we'll see. So leave us a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Salaamu Alaikum.